Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Uh, for the last few days, I've been experiencing increasing irritation with regard to the clairaudient chatter that I'm hearing, which has to do with what some call a victim, victimizer, and I used to call it uh, the aggressor victim paradigm. It's where people are, are reacting from third chakra negative and one person will say something power over or like uh, uh, attempting to control somebody else and, and then somebody else will think of that as a threat and they'll think of a way to get revenge back again. And, and um, so uh, I, I've just been getting more and more, it's been getting, as they say, it's been getting under my skin in the last few days. Because I think the, the equinox is coming up and the, the energy is really high in the middle of the day and, and all this light downloads and then it, it pings against my own um, third chakra energy and wherever it's imbalanced and upset, uh, it creates like this reaction against the unconscious thought cloud of the world or semi-conscious thought cloud of the world. So, um, so, and 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 it and it's and usually in normal times when the light is like normal level, I can always like change the train of my thought and and overcome this somehow. So get off of this track of negativity and and uh, back into a space of peace and calm and love. But right now, in the last few days, I've been finding it extremely nerve wracking. So yesterday, I came to, there was a point where I was sitting outside, and there was all this racket outside, a helicopter and an um, airplane going over, and the dogs were barking outside, and outside is where I go for peace and quiet, you know. <laughs> and so, so it was like, all of a sudden, I woke up from a little nap and outside and in the sunlight, and all of a sudden, it was, I was bombarded with... with uh, sound energy and at the same time the clairaudient shock chatter became absolutely unbearable to me and I did something unpardonable I lashed out and and in a conscious way I lashed out at all the people that were that were it felt to me like they were torturing me you know and I could feel it. The reaction of their unconscious minds was, we will get even with you, right? And I going, I was so like annoyed that I didn't care, you know. <laughs> I just maintained this attitude that they could just, that I just, I wanted nothing to do with them. They were horrible people and all this stuff, you know, singing these things. And so their, their plans solidified near the end of the day. I could hear them plotting together. There's a bunch of guys plotting together to get even, right? So this morning I woke up under a very heavy load of, of a negative unconscious uh, third chakra and second chakra and first chakra energy. It's like I was seething with reactivity. And it and the 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 um, the conviction grew on me that during the night, either unconsciously or consciously, they had been like getting even. They had been like this is as if they had been filling my um, my unconscious mind with all kinds of negativity. That's what it felt like. So, in other words, to put it in in the perspective of Bill Ballard. Um, what happened was I, I um, created an electromagnetic interaction with him, a bunch of guys yesterday, guys and women, and ne in the negative sense. And, and during the night, I got the boomerang effect big time, right? The boomerang effect. And then this morning, I was in a highly reactive state, a, re a state of reactivity of my electromagnetic field with theirs. You know, to such an extent that I just couldn't pull out of it. So I didn't know what to do. I had no idea what to do. So I was resting and like, um, I, I was thinking maybe if I rest and I feel my high heart, but my hand drifted down to my core chakra, which is located, it's located deep inside of me, just below 
my um, diaphragm below my ridge, rib cage and above my, my navel point. Now the core chakra is deep inside. Uh, it's like the core of the body, the core energy center of the body. And just below that is the navel point energy, which has to do with self-control, with not feeling threatened, with feeling masterful in one's relationship with one, other people and with the environment. So um, my hand was there on the core chakra, and I could feel an imbalance starting to heal as I placed my awareness there. I could feel the navel point energy also healing and strengthening. So um, first, uh, and I could feel all the clear audience negativity going away, just completely, all of a sudden, within five minutes. So, so from this I could say, that I now understand this this aggressor victim paradigm, and that is that that, it, that the whole thing about negative four, uh, three three D has to do with a lack of navel point strength, all right, and a lack of uh, balance in the core core star energy. So, you can try the meditation if you have this concern and these. These energy centers must be healed and balanced in order for the energy to go up to the to the heart chakras, to the to the mid heart, and to the high heart. Okay, and and when the energy gets to the mid heart and the high heart, then we'll be in the fourth dimension when it's when that energy is is um, balanced positive. I think that if we act on it now, right now, uh, we can. Heal, we can heal the uh, the Atlantean Age rift. It will give new uh, new strength of, of of personal power and control to to all men and to all women on Earth, so that they may hear they may hear threatening things on the internet, and they may hear um, they may feel threatened, but. With a strong core star and a, and a well-balanced, strong navel point energy, they will never need to react again. Okay, this is the the answer to the to the war between the sexes. This is the answer to war on Earth. Okay, this is this is the answer to 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 many problems on Earth. Is to is to strengthen and balance the core star and the navel point energies. And I'm very pleased to have made this discovery finally and to be able to offer it to all of you. So God speed you all in your in your mastery of, of the universe through through mastery of your chakras and God God speed you through this energy which I know you'll be able to I know you'll be able to incorporate into yourselves and and improve your own personal power. God rest God rest you all in in, in peace and, and love and 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 an end to all hatred and war on earth.